Memsaver intelligently cuts down memory usage without you having to manually babysit textures or meshes. It works within the Engon framework to help optimize blender scenes and reduce render times with full UDIM and image sequence support. The workflow is non-destructive and any changes you make can be reverted with a single click. If you mouse over any of the controls, you'll be greeted with helpful tooltips explaining what that control does. You can also open the documentation at any time by clicking this button. Memsaver optimizes assets in the scene based on how many pixels they take up relative to the camera in the final render. If I click Adaptive Optimize, I'm greeted with some controls to quickly optimize the scene. First, I can select the camera I want to use here. By default, this is the active camera, indicated by this green camera icon. This is what will be guiding the scaling calculation. If I check Optimize Images, I can access controls to downscale image textures, which will help save on video memory and reduce render times. There's not much point using a 4K texture for something that takes up a tiny fraction of the scene. The quality factor is the main control we use to scale everything down. It's based on the number of pixels each asset takes up in the final render. For example, if we have a full HD render and our asset takes up 10% of the scene, it will be around 108 pixels tall. If our quality factor is set to 2, Memsaver will scale the texture down to double that size, rounded up to the nearest power of 2, so in this case, 256 pixels. These downscale textures are called derivatives and are stored in the Memsaver cache, which you can locate using this folder button. We can choose between optimizing all objects in the scene or just the ones we've selected. If multiple objects are using the same texture, Memsaver will use the largest one relative to the camera for its calculations. We can set minimum and maximum image sizes to limit the amount of scaling applied to the textures, giving us more precision. But we're not just limited to textures. The decimate meshes toggle lets us directly reduce the poly count of the assets in our scene, and is also based on the position of the camera. The full quality max distance is the distance from the camera within which all assets will stay at maximum quality. In other words, if we set this to 20 meters, any objects within 20 meters of the camera will have no decimation applied. The lowest quality distance works in a similar way and lets us set the point at which the effect is applied at full strength. The lowest face count slider lets us ignore objects that are already below a designated poly count. And finally, the lowest quality decimation ratio is the slider we use to control how strong the decimation is at the maximum distance. If you enable animation mode, Memsaver will calculate its optimization based on the frame in which the object is largest to ensure maximum quality. If you want more control, you can manually set values using the resize images and decimate meshes buttons. And remember, all of these changes are non-destructive, so if you change your mind, you can undo the optimizations by clicking one of the revert buttons. If you want more information about the assets in your scene, this handy memory estimation section can generate a report for you. Just select a directory to save the report, choose a format and click either estimate this file or estimate file folder. When it's done, open that file to read up on which assets might be creating a bottleneck in your scene. This same analysis can be used for multiple scenes at once or even entire folders, letting you quickly compare and track down problematic assets. Here's a before and after. There's not much visual difference, but we've freed up a significant amount of resources.